One specialized area of nursing with an even more acute nurse to patient ratio is mental health care. Now, considering the fact that Ghana's chief psychiatrist has always maintained that a considerable number of the population need attention, the number of nurses and even facilities to care for such people are woefully inadequate. The challenge is mainly because of the stigma and the working conditions nurses who work in psychiatric hospitals in Ghana endure. Joy News' Adelaide Arthur has been speaking to Kobe Blay with the newly established psychiatric unit of the Kolebu Teaching Hospital about the occupational hazards he faces. How difficult is it to care for the mentally challenged? I wouldn't say it's difficult, but it's mixed. Um, it can be very exciting and it can be very stressful managing persons who do not have insights into their conditions. You find out that um, they do not want to agree with the fact that they are mentally ill. But I also understand some uh, um, patients even attack the nurses. Have you ever been physically attacked before? Yes, it's a couple of times, uh, but in all, we were successful in, in managing the situation. Um, there was this time a patient was on the ward and I had asked him to go and eat. And he says, why do I have to come and tell him to go and eat when he does not have a stomach to eat? Do I not see his president? And who am I? I have to go and serve him the food and order. I said, well, I could serve you the food, but please come forward. Come to where we all sit and eat. But he wouldn't want to. I turned around to go, and then it was a hit at my back. And a few colleagues to share same. And there have been instances where some have been physically deformed, and they have gone away without compensation yet. There was this time uh, some staff during night duty were attacked by one of the patients and had hit their eyes. What's your response usually when you are attacked like this? Well, some of these attacks could have a reason why they did happen. So we usually would like to talk to you, find out why you did that, give you some counseling, give you medication, or sometimes we do the seclusion where to keep the patient safe and other patients and staff to safe. Yeah. I'm sure there are happy moments as well where, I mean, you tend to have fun with the patients. We use certain mechanisms that involves having some domestic activities together, performing domestic activities together. In that course, we use that to assess them. But it could be a lot of fun when a patient could walk up to you and say, look at this guy, you just came today, and look at how you are misbehaved. Do you know how many days you've been here? So it, you, you, we have a lot of times, we share a lot of jokes together. They come and tell you when they are getting better, some could narrate how they were misbehaving and how they were calmed and all that. And that was Kobe Play, a psychiatric nurse, sharing with us the excitement and difficulties in caring for the mentally challenged in Ghana. Adelaide Arthur for Joy News. Quite an interesting one there. Now, Ghana has made successful strides in reducing maternal mortality. Well, that's according to the Ghana Health Service. This is a millennium development goal the country is assured of achieving before the deadline expires by the end of this year. Director General of the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Ebenezer Piadinshaw, attributed the success to the tireless efforts by dedicated healthcare providers. One of such is Bridget Beria, a midwife at the Sablugu Government Hospital. She was adjudged the 2015 best nurse in the northern region. My colleague Hanodame has been finding out from her what her motivation has been. The 2015 best nurse of the northern region. Congratulations. When I came to the hospital, I teamed up with my colleagues who were already there. And then what we did was we established some sort of friendship with the clients. Like when we are less busy in the world, we sit, chat with them, they tell us why some of them do not come to the hospital. So when they put those things across, after that myself and my colleagues, we sit down and think how best we can get those people who are not coming to come. Uh, to the hospital. Besides, the hospital was doing something like when the TBAs, when a woman is in, in labor and the TBA brings the woman to uh, the hospital, the, the hospital gives the TBA a token. What I did was that we followed up 
on those TBs. We visited them and they also told us their challenges. We encouraged them. When a woman comes in labor, yeah, and then we, 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 I find out that uh, this maternal and child mortality will not make it. Uh, we take steps to uh, take actions immediately. You are an award recipient from the northern region. How do you feel about that? I'm very glad. I'm very glad. It, it comes as a, a way forward for me to, to work harder. Just as I did and then management saw what I did and recommended me for this award. So this comes as an edge to make me work harder.